Greetings and welcome to Temple Baptist Church in Poplar Bluff, Missouri. Thank you for joining us today. I want to share with you this morning in Psalm 91. It's one of my favorite psalms. Some people call it the soldier's psalm because of all of the safety and care and peace that the Lord promises in this psalm. Listen to what it says. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Listen again to what it says. He, he who dwells, the word there means whoever, anyone, everyone who dwells in the secret place of the Most High. The word dwell literally means to sit. And the idea of sitting in this passage of scripture means that the person so trusts in God that no matter what's going on around him, he's not pacing the floor. He's not wondering what he's going to do. He is sitting peacefully in the presence of the Lord. What a beautiful picture that is. And then it says, shall abide. It means to dwell forever, to make it our home. The presence of God ought to be our home, the place that we are comfortable at being, the place that we dwell in for long periods of time, forever, if you will. And then notice, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If we're under a shadow, we're not very far from that which is casting the shadow. And if the shadow is that of the Almighty, then it means that we have drawn close to the Lord and are sitting at peace and in trust of the Almighty, of the Most High. He goes on to say, I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. There's the sense in which the Lord's telling us that on the outside of this picture, there's conflict going around this person. And yet the person is so uh, not concerned about what's going on around him because he is just so trusting being in the presence and the peace that passes all understanding that guards his heart and mind in the Lord. And what a beautiful picture that is. It says, my God, in him I will trust. The idea of trust is to mean to lean in, uh, to lean on. And it's the same idea that we find in James chapter 4 in the New Testament when the Bible says, draw near to the Lord and he will draw near to you. And his presence will make a difference in your life. He's come to give us life and that that life may be more abundant, filled to overflowing. Would you lean on, lean in to the Lord today and watch as his peace safely conducts you through life. Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the encouragement of your word today. And I pray that you use your word to encourage someone along life's way today. And I ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day in the Lord.